Hey guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Tango here. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time it happens to be for you. Thank you for stopping in uh, today, guys. Uh, we've been we've been a little busy here. We've been a little bit busy. We got the uh, the platforms are starting to come together here. Let me take flight here and show you. We've got the the green energy kind of piping in on all the lateral sides there with a little bit of the extra uh, bumpies or whatever they're called up there. That's a special technical term there. The bumpies. Mm -hmm. Every, every every base needs more of the bumpies. <laughs> we, we got those in there. Uh, the the towers are starting to come together here. So I want to get a lot more done in here today. Uh, let's see. I want to get a couple little things. You see, I got these. Let me flat out show what I'm talking about. I got these, uh, this lava pool right there. That guy right there. I could fly down there, I suppose. If I can do it without killing myself here. Let's see. We got this lava pool here, which I really kind of like. It's a good front to the base. So I'm going to take this guy here. I should eat some food before I die and splatificate. Uh, all this food here and... Uh, well, all this food? No. <laughs> all this lava pool here and repeat it on the other side over there. Like I said, this this whole platform here that's already done is going to be probably 100% mirrored on the other side. A lot of you guys were left comments, and I appreciate that, saying that you know the symmetry isn't that bad, and it actually would be a good thing. And I do appreciate that. Um, so those two, that side and this side are going to mirror. And then the lava pool for there and there. I'm going to try to uh, try to change up a little bit. But I'm also, and this is the probably the big bulk of today's episode, or at least the work, is these towers here. Those two big curvy bit towers there. I want to get those in over here as well. That's going to take a long time probably. We'll see. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll get more in. I, I got, I'm still deciding if I want to do those on all four and put variations elsewhere or just uh, just do those right here. But we got work to do. Let me get that lava from there over here. And then we're going to design some new ones for that guy and that one over there. All right, let's try this now. So I've got that lava pool over there, the original above the eyes. I mirrored it over there. Okay, so those match on opposite corners. On the other side from where I am now, and this one, I want to try a little bit different design. I got started here, and I was like, you know, let's just see what we can do on camera here. So, some of that and that. Okay, I want to get, like, instead of, oh, on the other one over there, you can see, hold on, jumpy, jumpy. I have, like, two lava columns coming in with, like, fire in the middle. This one here, I want to have one lava coming in down, the, down this little hole right here, and then I want to kind of have it spray out let's see into something else so let's see if we do that and that and then i want to have like a little bit of nether wart here where you can kind of see it and kind of can't <laughs> if that makes any sense at all so we'll go like this i think uh no i want to go one higher like that okay so that'll be like the cascading waterfall we'll come out of there hit that fan across the nether the uh nether brick uh, slabs there, and I think it should fan out just right so that they're all covered up, but you can still see the nether wart uh, kind of in between there. So I think I like that. And then, let's see, up top here, what do we want to do? We want to have the the fire going down here, and then... No, over, over here. We want to go on the edge like that, yeah. We'll go on the edge like this, okay? The fire's going to go through there. We're going to go there. One, two, three. And now we're going to curve this around. We're going to go like this, I think. Let's try the same thing on this side here. I'm not putting like crazy attention to detail into this. I just want something that's a little bit, just a little bit different, you know, just a little something, something. So we'll go like that. And then we're going to put the lava right in here, I think. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, thank you, Rain. Thank you. That's, I was, I'm happy for you, Rain. Thank you. And Rain is gone. Daylight is back. We can actually continue building now. So I did a little bit more here, kind of figured out some of the stuff I want to do. So... We're going to have like a little ring of lava that loops around here, and this is going to be a little bit stubbier. Like that one kind of went out to the edges a little bit more. This one's going to just be a little bit stubbier, like I said, and just kind of barely cover this corner here. Let's see, we'll do that and that, break that. Lava will go in the middle there. Uh, give me a full block there. Now for the roof here, I want to... So we still got to have lava go down the middle there. Uh, so I want to do... No. No. I want to do solid blocks there, there, there. There, 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 with the side of there. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I want to make it so you can't hop in here, though, as always. I, I want to make it sure so people don't jump in there. So we do need, yeah, you can fall in there still. So we got to get one there and one there. And then let's bring that out one more, make this a solid block. And pop a little support there to give a little something, something. This feels weird right here. Maybe this can be, can go that way. Yeah, that looks better. I like that better, I think. 
Stairs, stairs are my favorite block in the game to build with. There's so much versatility. Upside down, spin them, flip them, turn them around. You can do like some amazing things with them. It's, it's there's always an option to make something look better with stairs. All right, that and then solid block there, I think, and a peggy there, and that and that. Nope, break that. Almost done here. That and that. Okay, I think that'll do it. Get a little roof here. Bring that over so you can't fall in, and then we're gonna get the lava here, and it's gonna fall down and cascade in here, and it's gonna look beautiful. I think. Lava, 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 I said lava and lava. Excellent. Is that solid all the way around? Good. And how are we doing down here? Oh, we're done. We're done. Let me break that. Excellent. Burn. Perfect. Oh, I don't like this little, there's quite a bit of green there. Let's actually put, that's a bit too much green. Let's put a couple sources there. Let's see. Get these buckets out of the way. Couple more. Buckets of happy fun sauce, one there and one there to partially hide the green a little bit. I like it. I like it. Uh, I mean, I could go higher, but then it would stick above. Yeah, I don't like that. All right, I think that's good. I think that's good. Uh, let's see what it looks like up here. A little lava ring. I'll probably put some like skulls on the wall and stuff there, maybe. But it's different. It's pro. You know, honestly, I probably like the other one better. But this one provides a little bit of the needed variety. Okay, there we go. We got the four corners with the lava features in one. Two, that was just like the original. Three, like the new one. And of course, there's the original there. So now, what I want to do, I was debating, do I want to put in the the platforms here on all of them? Or do I want to start working on the towers? And I think I want to get working on uh, the towers here. Because they're going to make the floor a little bit easier once I have like kind of the anchor points in and stuff there. So I think this guy, these two towers here, for starters, I may do it on all four, like I said, I'm not sure. But I absolutely want to do them over there. Hi, buddy. I see you. I absolutely want to do them over there. So let's get started on that. We're going to do a little time lapse. And as we do, we're going to have a little chat. We're going to have some tango time. Okay, let's chat. So today, I want to talk about my channel and some of the changes that are going to be coming up over the next month to two ish, possibly, maybe more, depending on how things go. Uh, as some of you probably noticed, this Hermitcraft episode took a little bit longer <laughs> to get out than most do, all right? It took a little bit over a week, which is not good, I admit, and I do apologize for that. Uh, but that is because I am, I got a lot of things going on right now that I'm working on. I've got my fingers in a lot of different different puzzles uh, that I'm all very excited about, and I wanted to kind of give teasers at least to them now. So I have, well, the first one I'm working on is a fairly big project with ZF a new series that we're trying to put together and craft. Uh, it is a Minecraft series. I won't go into any more details than that, but it is taking a good portion of my time. I am very excited about it. It could be something that is a long-term kind of thing. Uh, again, it's, I'm super excited about it and it's, it's, it makes me smile just thinking about it and some of the, some of the ideas we're trying to put together. So I'm really excited to get that working for you guys, but it is taking time. Uh, after that is the main thing I have been putting time into, which is, uh, I, I definitely don't want to spoil this one, but this is a completely new type of series. It is still Minecraft related, uh, but it's taking a lot of my time. I have to learn a lot of things. I'm doing a lot of research and a lot of planning. This is the one I'm ultra excited about. It is the one that I think can do amazing things for my channel if I can pull it off. Uh, other than those two things, I have... One, possibly two other long-running Let's Play series on other games that I'm considering doing. Uh, I know other, you know, non-Minecraft games don't generally do that great, but uh, these, I, I generally only pick games that I think are going to do really good, and I, when these games launch, I will announce it, uh, and I really, I really love you guys to check them out, because I'm like, I'm super excited about them. Uh, so that's like, potentially, that's three, potentially four things I got going now uh, that I'm working on a lot, so I am definitely not sitting around idling and doing nothing. Why am I doing this now is the real question, okay? To get to the truth, or get to the, to be blunt here, uh, my channel is not growing, <laughs> okay? It's not doing great. It's not doing bad, it's stagnant. It's stagnant, and it has been stagnant for far, far too long. Uh, in terms of the views I'm getting on my videos, it's actually shrinking. Shrinking rapidly and quite a bit. Uh, so it's it's time for me, I, I, I really want to ignite a spark. I want to change things up. I want to take some risks and try new things. And I need to bring new people into the channel. 
that is something that's not happening right now, okay? Hermitcraft is, I love Hermitcraft, obviously. I love the videos uh, that I make here. I love that you guys watch them. It's the bread and butter of my channel. It always will be, okay? It's not gonna go away. Uh, and I love you guys. Every one of you that watch my Hermitcraft, you know, and are dedicated to it, you're the best. Thank you. But Hermitcraft is only for you. Who it's not for is the is the new people. There, no one no one clicks on episode 49 of a Hermitcraft episode out of curiosity. So it doesn't attract new people. I need to start doing things that can attract new people so that my channel can grow, quite honestly, so that I can continue to do this as my thing, okay? This is by no means a guarantee. You know, 2018 could be, dare I say, the end of me doing this if things don't improve. Uh, so... It is what it is, okay? I'm super excited about the things that are I'm going to be putting my time into. Uh, Hermitcraft is not going away, but I will be cutting back a little bit on it. I need to. Um, I hope most of you take this as good news, as exciting news. To me, it is. I'm incredibly excited about what these other projects I'm working on. I think you guys are going to love every single one of them. I'm, I'm convinced you will, uh, but they're going to take some time, and it does mean a little bit of a cutback on Hermitcraft. Those of you that just want to watch Hermitcraft might be disappointed with this, uh, for those of you guys, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, but I do need to make changes. If I if I just put my head down and continue doing what I did for all of 2017, 2018 is, is not going to be a good year. It's going to be sad time. So uh, I got to shake things up, and I hope you guys understand. So looking for your feedback. If you have any comments or questions, drop me a comment below, and I'd love to hear from you. But I just want to let you guys know where things are going and how things might slightly be changing in the coming months. Thanks. All right, looking good. Looking, we're making progress here. You know what? This is going. I'm pretty happy. I'm pleased right now. That getting those two towers done has been a uh, quite quite a step forward. I think it's kind of inspired me to keep on going. Uh, but I am going to stop for today. Actually, on the base, I'm going to save this for like a live stream. I think I'll get the floor and the middle uh, thing, my bobber there. I'll get all that in and put it in a live stream. I think it'll be a good good way to hang out and get some uh, grunt work done. Uh, what I want to do now, actually, is these torches here. These torches all in here are bothering me. We can't have torches in our base. That's kind of one of the global things I'm going for here is no artificial lighting. All these torches, obviously, will go away once I finish all the uh, all the lava and and fires and all the good stuff over there uh, and the uh, magma blocks that are lit up and everything. Uh, but up here, I, I didn't have a plan. So what I want to do here is, I think, let me just take some of these out here. We're going to do a little bit of science here to find where our light levels are too low. Now, I know, I know there's mods that'll, like, do this for me. There's, like, client plugins or mods or whatever that I could put in that'll, like, you know, color the floors and tell me and everything. And, yeah, you know, yeah. But, you know me. I'm a vanilla guy, and I like to stick vanilla. So, I'm going to start marking a little area here. I'm basically looking at the light level, and if it's a 7 or less, I'm kind of outlining where the the darkness is so that I can get a a sense here of of what needs to be fixed so let's see seven there so we're getting a little shape it looks like it's probably just gonna be like a little oval here let me see all right yeah it's kind of what I figured we got a little triangle there so everything inside this crude little area is spawnable including the spots the bars are in so I think what I want to do is let's see here what if I corner that corner that and right there what if we do, let's see, we'll come down here, pop this up a little, I mean, I got it down a little bit more here. I'm going to just drop a little hole here and put a lava, a, uh, a little lava drop thing in there. Like, so if I go like that, and then that, and then red glass, like that. It's not perfect, but it, it at least it fits the style of my base. Let's see, let's get rid of all this junk here now. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's not great, but it does the job. Honestly, I could probably do like a little more of a design here, like a plus sign or something, so that it didn't seem so isolated. But I just want to make sure now we should see no light level 7 anywhere. There's, oh, there's a couple 8s there. Uh, oh, I think, we, I think that just solves it just perfectly, so... Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to do that on all four corners and take all these torches out. All right, they are all out. Looking good. Just a couple little glass spots here and there, but no more torches down here. Makes this whole platform feel almost more plain. I almost now feel like I need to add something to it. Maybe the torches were subconsciously, like, making me feel like it was decorated more or something. I don't know. I got to do something with this, too. This is the hole for my villager uh, breeder down there. That's because he needs the sky axis. At least I got to put some red glass or so I don't fall down and change the netherrack and stuff, but eh, I'll get to that someday. I do have 
a project or a thing. We're going to go with a thing that I've been neglecting for far too long. I started, I was excited, I stopped. And that is villager trading, okay? I've I kind of got the infrastructure going, but then I stopped and really didn't take it to the level that it needed to be taken to. So let me show you. For those of you who don't remember, we got our little villager trading area back here with some very special villagers. Hi there. You going to turn and look at me? <laughs> so we got some decent trades set up here. Like we got mending for 12 there. Uh, what do we got? We got a unbreaking 3 pickaxe for 14. Eh, infinity 10. We got a good farmer trader here. But I want to I fill these guys up and be a little bit more selective, and I want to get, like, some more blacksmiths with more armor in here. So, I've got, and I also want to make sure my elevator still works, because I have a feeling it might not. We've got it open right here still. Uh, this is the inside of the guts here that you don't see that often. But, yeah, this is the spiral elevator that goes all the way down to the breeder down there, and I have a feeling, since I've made the tower and kind of enclosed it in here, I have a feeling that some of the villagers might, hello, kids, some might, they might... Suffocate. They might smash their head on something and kill themselves or something. So I'm going to send up a dummy villager and see if he makes it. And if he does, I'm going to go do some more uh, villager trading and see what we can come up with here. Oh, also, 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 I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just realized I, I have no way to get down to my villager breeder now that I can think of. I need to get down there. <laughs> this is all closed off now. I'm, hmm, interesting. All right, I'm going to have to make a, a little bat tunnel to get in there or something. I don't want to open this up. No. Uh, maybe. Maybe it's time to add a door on one of these sides. Because I could like add a door like right here that would take me in here and a little room that then took me down. I mean, obviously, it's not hard to get down there. But what's my official way to get down? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Uh, but what I want to do... Close, close. What I want to actually do is float down here and fix this. We got this junk here. I see I even took the lava out. I need a better uh, dating surface game here for my villagers. My green light, yes, no, keep them, burn them thing. It was crap. I want to make it better. So let me play with the redstone here for a while. And we've got a ton of villagers back here that I want to start sifted through. Much, much better. Much simpler design. All right, I changed a bunch of things. It doesn't probably look as good. But it functions a whole lot cleaner, and it gets away the whole issue with the villagers moving the minecarts. Now, I know in, like, 1.13, they're changing it so that the villagers can't move the minecarts again. But either way, this fixes it now, and it's just better. It's a little bit uglier, like I said, because I got you can see the piston and stuff there. But, very simple. This button calls a villager. This button pulls that back. I still have the music and everything set up here. So, basically, this pulls that, which dr just drops them into lava. Very simple. And no, I'm not returning the minecart. Whatever. Don't care. It's easy for me to just craft like 60 minecarts than it is to build a return system. Uh, and then this guy here pushes that uh, slime block, uh, steep piston forward that has the powered rail on it. So it goes on top of the redstone block and sends them this way. And I don't have to do switch rail switching here or anything. And this line just sends it on its way. So love it, love it, love it. Uh, so the only thing I need to do now is test to see if a villager makes it up. I'm guessing they won't. I'm guessing something happened while I was building the tower. So I'm going to hop on the camera account. I'm going to hit this button, hop on the camera account real quick, and try and ride up with a villager. Let's actually let's bring one in here make sure that's going to work. Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Uh, what did I mess up? Does that not... That should press that, right? Oh, duh. You can't do that, idiot. Um, let's see here. Uh, 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 I need, I got to break this. Yeah, I got, phone, phone. <laughs> I gotta break that. I think. Let me see here. If I do that, will that work? No. Oh, I gotta put a dust on top of that. Uh, all right, I'll have to put some stairs right there then to cover that up. And if I put dust up on top of those stairs or on top of the light like that, we should be good now. Now let's try it. Hit the button. This is why we test things. Excellent. Okay, so he's back. Hi, how are you? Leather worker, we don't like you. Go away. Do do do. Have a nice day. Excellent. You are a blacksmith, a toolsmith. Okay, well, this might actually be someone we want to actually trade with. So I'm going to test him, but if not, we're going to hop on the camera count and fly up with him and see where they take pain. Okay, here we go. This guy is trash. Let's send him on his way. So far, so good. So far, so good. What an odd view. 
Wow. Wow. Wow, he made it up with no damage. Excellent. Excellent, and he is in. Excellent. Well, now I actually will kill him because I don't want him, but the track works, and everybody... Check this view out. This is so cool. Watch this. And everybody is happy. Watch this. <laughs> I love that camera angle right there. All the way down the tower, past the villager breeder, down into the abyss. Man, I swear, I have like the worst luck with these villagers. I think I've gone through about 6,000 villagers. I went through this whole stack here. This is empty now. Uh, yeah, I mean, I had like a bunch of blacksmiths and a bunch of toolsmiths and armorsmiths or whatever in there, and nothing really. I still want a really good pick. I want a good chest piece, and I want a good sword, at the least. I don't think you can get... You can't get like boots and helmets and legs from villagers, right? Right? I don't, I don't remember. I think it's just chest piece, but I'm not sure. Anyways, well, I'll, I'll be one monitoring these guys a lot more often now, though. Now that the system's working again, um, come on, villagers. Yeah, I'm gonna be monitoring this, and we're gonna we're gonna do our best to definitely get some more villager trade in here. But yeah, no luck today. All right, that is going to do it for today, guys. We got quite a bit of building done here. All the connector pieces done, and both of these two massive towers done. So quite a bit of progress i know it's like stuff we've kind of seen already but overall the base took a big uh took a big progress uh, gain today which is good um i will try to get a lot of done a lot of done a lot more done between episodes i'm gonna try and get all this done and the little piece in there and basically just finish this whole side up like that side and start working on designs for probably alternate towers over there i think but let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see me do. Uh, if it's something in the base or if it's something else. I'm open to suggestions, absolutely. Ideas that could be completely separate, completely new. Or if it's just more more progress, like I said, here in the base. I'm, I'm open to it. So let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I'm out.